In this video, we will discuss reviewing point data. If you would like to follow along with the video, please open the file 0305 reviewing point data .dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this data set video. Civil 3D provides great reviewing capabilities for point data. To review point data, you can use the panorama window, review pane in the tool space, or the properties palette. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tool space. First, I'll select my points category in the prospector tab and I'll review my points. So as you can see here, you can simply navigate the prospector tab and using the scroll button or the middle mouse button, you can navigate and view the different points in your drawing. Note that these columns are completely sortable and you can add columns by right clicking on the column header. This functionality is very common for all column headers within Civil 3D. This is a really good way to see if you have any points at, let's say, zero elevation. I'll simply click on that to sort by it and you'll notice that the lowest elevation that is selected here is 77.46. As we scroll through here, you can see the different elevations for the additional points as well. Another way to review points is to select them individually within your drawing and use the panorama window. Let's go ahead and zoom into my file and I'll select a few points within my drawing. And in the contextual Cocoa Points ribbon, I can select the Edit List Points tool. This opens up the panorama window and opens up the Point Editor Vista. You'll notice that all of the points that I have selected are contained within. I can select multiple by simply doing a window selection or select individually by pressing the control key on the keyboard to make any edits that I need to. In addition to this, you can simply right click on here and you can zoom to a specific point to review it and make sure you're selecting the correct one. Again, don't forget the scroll bars to see the rest of the point properties. And you can also right click on here and add or remove columns should you so desire. Lastly, you can use the properties palette. I'll still keep the same selection. I'll navigate to the properties palette and whatever common properties are available for points, I can simply navigate and change them. If I want to select one point, I will just press escape, select one point, go to the properties palette, and there are all the point property. This concludes this video discussing reviewing point data.